So we're out this morning with Haji's group. Um, they're doing a moderate run of 35 kilometers, which means around 3.30 to 3.20 minutes per K. And we've driven a fair way out of the city to get to this road specifically. Uh, there are a few reasons. Firstly, the terrain, dirt road, uh, softer on the legs and holds huge significance for, uh, for the Ethiopians. And then also this road is sitting at 2,100 meters above sea level, which is a thousand meters lower than where we run our easy runs at Intoto and 700 meters lower than Saluto, which is where these guys had their track session t just two days ago. So huge variations in altitude and here for the terrain, uh, yeah, moderate run with Hadi's group. Yeah, the start to this session was so much more relaxed than many of the other sessions I've been to. There was no big group warm-up, um, just sort of getting your stuff on, and let's go. So, Haji, how far are they running today? Like 35k. Okay, what pace around are you expecting? You said moderate? No, it's moderate, they are just like a start with uh, 345. It's coming up till uh, 320 mm -hmm. for men, for lady 405, up to 350. Uh, you know, it's, uh, this is today's uh, uh, interest training. It's long training for uh, two weeks. We didn't, we didn't did the long training. And we've come down to a lower altitude here. Do you find that that is, it's good after spending the week up high? Yes, of course. Okay. And then, yeah, the road is very nice, yeah, very nice. soft, <laughs> easy on the legs. So this is an especially exciting episode because it features one of the world's greatest athletes of all time, Kenanes Bekele. Um, this is his group, this is his coach. He wasn't training with us officially because of a minor hip injury, which he has at the moment, but he did surprise me by joining this session halfway through. And in fact, took me completely by surprise. I didn't even notice he was there with all the runners that were all around me and uh, having to concentrate on other things like big buses and which direction the sun's coming from for filming. I didn't actually realize until afterwards that he was there, but I did manage to capture some great shots of him. So if you hang around long enough, you will be able to see Kenanisa himself running with his group. Uh, so I hope you enjoy. The terrain is quite uneven, but very soft, very soft. Okay, five kilometer mark, 19 minutes. They're over there now. A bunch of the stragglers cut across this field and rejoin the rest of the group, which I think is quite an Ethiopian thing. Um, it's important to stay with the group and there's no like shame in taking shortcuts. It means you can stay with the bunch um, for as long as possible. I know that in the forest and things like that, they do switchbacks and zigzags and the people who can't hang on to the pace sort of use that to their advantage and cut the corners and things like that. So very interesting that huge group like this and a big emphasis is on sticking together, even though it means cutting a corner here or there. Okay, 10 kilometers finished in 37 minutes. Yes, sir. How's it going? Yes, sir. Happy nurse. <laughs> okay, so 
the backup vehicle giving water bottles during this run was one of the best things to watch. It took like 10 minutes for them to hand out enough water for all the athletes to get and the guys would cover like 3 k's in that time. So yeah, carnage but beautiful to watch. Drink break with the bus has been going on for almost three kilometers now. These guys are just stuck behind the group. <laughs> Okay, consistently hitting 3.30 pace. A whole bunch of guys heading up that way to grab a toilet break while the rest of the group continues. Now here are the guys that took a toilet break in the fields so are able to cut the corner, jump back on the group. Okay, that's 20 kilometers done. Last kilometer was in 3.20 pace and total time, one hour, 13.30. So we have another water stop at 21 kilometers. The guys have done it in one hour, 17 minutes. Okay, here it is, the point where Kenanisa joins the group. Um, I didn't realize it was him as we went past. You can see I turned the camera off for a little bit, but yeah, it's him and he's with us. I was tricked. Our group has started to slip off. Turning around.
2 k's to go and they are losing 324 pace chalu bralu na bral na bawo bral na bawo chalu bazi ke da na Okay, well, 30 kilometers, 35 kilometers was completed in 2.05. They're still going. Two hours, 14 minutes, 32 seconds for 37.6 kilometers. A little more than they bargained for. Well done. Yes. How was it? Good. Good? You enjoyed? Yes, good. Well done, you guys are cruising. <laughs> you happy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy. It's good. That's good. Yeah. Awesome. That's good. Why is this place special for you to come train? Um, we've driven maybe 40 minutes outside of Addis. Yeah. Why, why is this place special? Uh, this place is enough for uh, endurance training. It is uh, the weather also is uh, uh, high altitude also is a medium. It's not uh, low, it's not high mm -hmm. for uh, endurance. The, uh, the way also is very good. For uh, endurance, it's very nice place. The road surface, yeah, it keeps the legs uh, yeah. safe. Yes, safe. Yeah, um, safe for endurance, safe. Okay. So for for this case, we are choosing here more to time for uh, endurance. Endurance. Yeah. Okay. Amazing. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, welcome. So that is where we were for yeah. the tar road. Yes. The asphalt. There, what we do there? In a moderate training, in a not more than a certain kilometer, like. More than 35k, here is on a better to, to go longer. Yes. So Sandafa where we were is for altitude, shorter? Yeah. Higher altitude, for shorter, altitude, yes. faster? Uh, no, for uh, moderate. S still moderate. Yeah. Okay, okay. Faster is better. So better. So better is also a dirt road like this? Yeah, like this. A little bit in the altitude is the lowest there. Okay. Uh, and uh, flat. Flat for speed. Okay, that is so better. that's where you go fast. Yes. What is the altitude at? Uh, I think in a 1,700 around there. So it's even lower yeah. than here? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so that's where you go. Okay. Got it, got it. Okay, Beto, recovery Beso. drink. <laughs> um, full energy. Yes. Lots of energy. Full, full energy. Very good. Full energy, yeah. So it's, it's roasted barley, then ground down and mixed with water and sugar. A lot of sugar. <laughs> water. Water. Mm -hmm. water, barley, sugar. Beso. Beso. Did you have before? Yes. Early morning you have before? Yes, yes. And then after as well? Yes. Okay. So this is uh, yeah, liquid energy. You can live off this for days. Yes.
and it's completely natural. It's natural. Completely yes. natural. Natural, yes. Yeah, so beso is a very popular um, traditional Ethiopian meal or supplement, I guess. It's made from roasted barley uh, that's then ground up and you mix that with water and a lot of sugar. But uh, I think used dating way back to like old uh, traditional army centuries ago, the military and the, the fighters would use this drink and be able to run and fight for days and days on end having only basil. So uh, big cultural heritage um, and uh, yeah, the athletes still use it a lot today.